Jesus! Let's bring more fire in that stomach. More fire! In the name of Jesus! Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is uh, Rufai Kachingwe, and this is my wife, Josephine Kachingwe. We are pastors uh, in Zimbabwe. Yeah, um, we've been facing challenges. We've been trying to do business. It has not been working. And also, we've been facing some attacks in ministry as well. And my wife also has been having some uh, headaches, uh, migraine headaches. Um, the the church has been growing, and then all of a sudden, it will just lapse. Uh, it will be empty. So it has been happening uh, quite a long time. And also, my wife has been having some headaches, a migraine headaches, uh, especially at night. And she's been buying. Uh, in fact, she's been taking a, a lot of tablets, but it has not been working. Yeah, it is. I feel that's really, really. I was I was not worried. You know, sometimes you start to. to uh, to think whether God has called you or not. Ah, it has been a long time, a very long time, I think more than 10 years. And it's something that I was now used to. And I was just surviving on different types of of tablets. And I was so amazed how the men of God was so accurate. Because even at night, uh, I cry the headaches will be just terrible. When the man of God was speaking to us as a group, he picked me and then he mentioned of the um, migraine headaches, especially at night, and the tablets that I was taking. And he said, God must heal me today because these headaches were just terrible. And then you also mentioned about my my sisters, and he encouraged me to pray for them a lot. And, and, and also, for me, uh, you mentioned the issue of the ministry. ministry. You just said that I see a church. Yeah, yes, and I was, I was just shocked. <laughs> we, we've never spoken. Uh, we don't know each other. Yeah. Um, uh, What is giving you? Huh? How are you feeling? Hmm? This is tablet you are taking. You are trying to lower down. This is a migraine. Huh? But there's no tablet that is not. Because I see you taking tablets, different types of tablets, but nothing is working.
Let go, collect tables. Are you not tired of collecting tables? Because the way I'm seeing it, it's, it's very bad. Sometimes at night, the point that that is coming out. Jesus will win. This is something that they are using so that you can wipe. So the minute if, if I collect tables for my wife, I'll definitely wipe. Can you see that? Yes. I will definitely wipe. What is happening to the church? Yeah, there's been some attacks. Hmm? You are a pastor? No? I'm sure I don't know you. I've never seen you. Me, I'm seeing you for the first time. But I see a church. But I see people that are trying to divide the church. There are people that will try to destroy the church. I have a message for you. The message is that don't trust these people that are close to you. Because some of them they will attack you. But I believe Jesus will help you. Uh, the way things are happening now, if our you are praying for, I always advise pastors that when you are a pastor, you don't have a church. The church belongs to Jesus. If people are destroying your church, doing whatever they are doing, misbehaving, you give them to God. Where is your sister? The other one is not married. They are married. The other one is not married. When we saw him one on one, he, he continued the issue of, of the ministry, uh, saying, I'm, I'm seeing some attacks, and also we should not trust people. Some people were close to us, yes. And then you also encourage us to pray a lot, yeah. That, that we should pray, uh, uh, pray a lot. And also he, he said the ministry has been giving me, um, uh, you know, I've, I've been worrying because of uh, of those attacks. And then he also mentioned the issue of business, yeah. He just said uh, I'm seeing a transport business. It's true, uh, actually. I'm starting uh, the business of selling car spares, you know. You know. So I, I just, uh, uh, I'm, I have a rented place. We just put shelves there, but I was struggling to have capital to start the business. So he, he prayed for me and said, you are going to start the business. When we saw him one-on-one, -on -one, he, he mentioned about, about university. Currently, I'm in the last semester of my of my degree, and he mentioned that one of my son is also going to pursue well in education. And concerning the ministry, he also said the ministry is going to grow, and God is going to give us the grace to to buy the the church property. <laughs> it was um, amazing, and I feel so excited. And I am, I am happy that God still speaks. <laughs> we we need uh, the, the Bible speaks about uh, believing God and and His prophets. Uh, God is still speaking. So those who are still doubting uh, the grace of God is is still there. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, uh, today, and forever. For me, I, I'm just excited. I didn't expect that, but uh, you are spot on. And uh, I'm, I'm excited, it's a breakthrough, and it's a new season for us uh, as a couple, and also for our ministry, the people that we live.